Okay, here we go. So following on from our square where we created a loop, this time around, we're gonna be looking at how we can build a triangle using our loop. Okay, so this is just a little bit of extra practice. So you can see here that I still have my square code ready to go. So I'm just gonna change that to say triangle because this time around it's gonna be a triangle. All right, and then we're gonna change, the only changes we need to make is the number of sides and the angle at which we are going to move. Now, if you remember correctly from a couple of videos ago, we can be a little bit cheeky here and without having to actually do any thinking, we can just say that we wanna turn left by the 360 divided by the number of sides. Okay, so this video seems super short. What we're gonna do is just gonna hit save as there and I'm gonna call this one exercise 3B. Okay, because we're following on from what we did in exercise two. We run that module and then there we go, we get our triangle drawn super fast there in our loop, again, only using three lines of code. Now, because we are obviously looking to build a hexagon at some point, I'm gonna throw that one straight into this video as well because it's uh, this one has been super fast. So again, because we have all of this set up ready to go, it becomes really, really quick for us to be able to draw a hexagon. I can come into here and I can say that I want six sides, and divide by 300, uh, 360 divided by six. Save that one as 3C. Okay, and then if I run that code there, I can grab this on screen and you can see that we get our hexagon drawn really, really quickly. Now, obviously, if I wanted that to be a uh, pentagram, or a pentagram, a uh, pentagon, um, we are able to get that to appear. So I'm just gonna change this so that it actually says it on my saved file correctly. So that is our pentagon, uh, hexagon, sorry. Uh, so super quick and easy. Now in the next video, we're gonna be looking at how we can draw a circle, okay, using only three lines of code. Uh, now it's gonna be obviously a little bit trickier uh, and this is where loops become really, really quick and quite efficient. So. Hopefully you're still with me here with these ones being super fast and really quick and easy to follow along with. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna jump into some stuff that's a little bit more challenging in a second.